So today, what I wanted to discuss is topic activities, but these topic activities are based on news, okay, current events that are happening around us. Um, and the aim was to do a bit of role play. Anybody would like to, anybody who has seen this activity, so you're familiar with it, or? I just dismissed it immediately, actually. Why did you dismiss it? Uh, because it's, a, it's an interesting topic, and it's got, like, it's, like vacation is something people always talk about. But yeah. Um, in terms of the level that it's supposed to be and the, the target language and so on, if you scroll down, I don't think anything on the If you just go to the very bottom, I think that like, I think costly was the only word there that knew for that level. Yeah, holiday pay vacation. So I don't even know what the content's about, really. Yeah, there's not very much information. Yeah, so basically, <laughs> the reason I choose this one because it's for people and it's a research task or, or like a planning activity. And the only thing that is in there, there is no text, there is no image. Well, the only thing that you can see are three images, mm -hmm. which are not great either. Um, and then you ask the students to plan the dream vacation. Is that challenging? Is that exciting? No. <laughs> you know, so straight away is about activity, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so what I want to do today is just to, to think about different ways that we can create topic activities. So when we are making them, or creating new activities, we have better resources to use in the classroom, okay? So if I say that we need to think about current news, things on the news at the moment, to create a topic activity, what news comes to mind at the moment? Regarding vacation. Yeah, something that, one way or the other, you can link it to vacation. So they going on holidays and stuff? Sorry? Maybe celebrities on holiday? So, yeah, maybe that can be. With current news? Yeah. Uh, Brexit holidays? Brexit, okay, yeah. Any others? So they relate to holidays related to food or specific types of holidays? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if we think of P4, P5, or P4, P5 groups that we have maybe in big, in big companies, so how, because probably they have been with us for a while, they have been spoken about the dream holiday, and everything they eat, the adventure holidays, and all those times. So we want to have something more engaging or more interesting for them. And so I thought, well, I went to the news and found it a few about Trump. And for example, the visas and how people now cannot go to the States. Many people have been rejected the entrance. Okay, so just with that, can you think of what could what could you discuss about that with the students? How can you how can you relate that Trump and the visas to vacations maybe? Do you want to speak maybe between you or do you want to justify any ideas? Like if you choose to go to the United States on vacation now, okay, <laughs> yeah, at this moment, right? I was actually talking to somebody about that yeah. um, yesterday. I think mm -hmm. actually whether I'd be going to the States now because I'm not sure how the how it would work if I'd be able to qualify him and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, because it's hard to get a visa, right? Just a visa, actually. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So well, this is the that's the news. So Donald Trump immigration bans 60,000 visas revoked after travel restrictions, whatever, whatever. Basically, and the, the most well, effective ones are the ones that Yeah. So, with this news report, would you have the whole text? Would you, would you summarize it? Would you speak about it? How would you introduce this, this activity? Would you just go straight away to read it? Would you ask some questions first? I would ask some questions first. If, like, if they know uh, what's happening, if, uh, if they have tried to, to get a visa for the States first, I don't know. Mm -hmm. You would first just talk just about if they, they have trouble applying for yeah, visas in general. Right, yeah, right, mm yeah. -hmm. Or compared to, uh, is it hard to get a visa to come to, to Spain? Mm -hmm. So what pre-reading tasks can we do to engage the students? Have you had, or what pre-reading tasks do we do normally in Oxford? So you find in the topic activities. Do you find any or not? 
pre-reading pre tasks. Do you find any pre-reading tasks before getting to read the text or share a news on, on the activities? Yeah, normally. Do you find anything? No, I do, but I do it because I do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just do it because you yeah. think it's a good yeah, way to Yeah, I always ask questions about what is going to go. You think that pre-reading activities are useful? Or can be useful? Yeah. Yeah, because sometimes if you have a lot of activities with text, if you just like launch into the text straight away, it's sort of like, oh, another thing to read, another thing to read. So it's better to make it more and more contextual. And maybe if they, I don't know, I don't see any pics here, but if there's a picture up, then you can ask them what it's going to be about, or like, if there's a picture of Donald Trump or Jesus, whatever, then they can guess kind of what it's going to be about. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. So, for example, that was a good idea. So, if you just show a picture and say, oh, so this is, this picture was related, is related to the news we want to read. What do you think this news is going to be about? Is any predicting? Any others? Well, I have here some, some examples. You can read. If you can group yourself maybe into threes and twos or two or and you can okay, choose <laughs> I'm going to give you I'm going to give you just a few minutes to choose one of those three reading tasks or any if you want to do one of your own that then you will have to teach us. Okay? Just to engage it in the activity before we go to read the text. Okay? So just a few minutes. So the aim of this session is to think about ways to engage and challenge the students more in the topic activities. Yeah. Because I think sometimes it, become, it becomes very repetitive. It's just read the text, ask questions, debate. Yeah. And it's, you know, uh, we need to mix things up a little bit more. And maybe just having a reading task can change the whole thing. You know, maybe you have a picture. And maybe quite a controversial picture, and then you have them speaking from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. I don't know, what other ideas did you have, Perla? Or oh, we didn't decide. We just talked about all of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we really like the idea of the, the headline that you had. Like, what was it? Trump's at it again. Yeah. <laughs> what could that be about? Yeah. Leonard, would you be willing to try and introduce activity to your students with that, with that headline? Okay. Like a pre-reading activity. Um, okay, so you're listening. <laughs> um, okay, so so if I say to you the headline, uh, Trump's at it again, what do you think that means? What could that be about? In me and possibly. Would like take time so out or like policies or... Some bullshit in the head again. <laughs> 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 One more. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Some misogynistic remark. Mm -hmm. yeah, and you could like go from that into the text. Mm -hmm. it yeah, it's going to be as simple as that. Yeah. Uh, you can also say maybe vacation and Trump. What comes to mind? You know, just the words are simple, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Any of the other ideas that you have that you could do? Okay, so then we have introduced it, we have them now, we have hooked them into the activity with one of these. What to do after? Depends. But it, it also seems like a lot of the texts recently have been very long, and it's like you have to jump to get to the, the right target language and so on. And um, actually, just through this conversation, I, um, like actually, we don't need uh, the, the constant check questions there because you can kind of think of them on the spot, so it kind of just takes up space. I think people should focus more on, like, instead of just a debate, what other kind of, so if you just say, have a debate, then people kind of, you don't have to explain what, uh, explain what the debate is. I think it would be quite useful if we actually have, like, certain keywords, if they say debate, then you know what kind of, what is expected, or if it's about a quiz, then you don't need to explain what a quiz is. And I think it's the same with a lot of, like, I think that vacation thing as well, it doesn't have much to it. Mm -hmm. And if you just know what you need to do, then it's not necessary to have this bloated activity. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, it's easier for, to follow and easier to make as well, isn't it? Yeah. Because I'm the we have said that the text must be short, so maybe we can have just maybe bullet points or something. Instead of asking questions, what else can we do to engage the students in, with the text? 
Because sometimes I feel like the like the teacher in school, just checking if they have a, they have read the text. You know what? <coughs> Asking to brainstorm words related to the topic. Mm -hmm, that's a very good one. Yeah. Okay. Any others? In the same way, you can maybe show them the dog language instead of the the headline, and then they can discuss what it is. Kind of the same kind of thing. Yeah, good. Yeah. And the ones that they don't know, then just they listen to through the. Do you remember the day that you told the, the penis? The penis. Yeah. Yeah, the yesterday. 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 Yes. But that one, for example, I didn't do sometimes because it has a video. Yes. Yeah. There is a video. And for example, if I was in a web class, then yeah, like oh yeah. Cafe, yeah. But it seems like there's different policies because in Barcelona they love the videos, and so that's why I think we've got. So I mean, them. So, yeah, but videos have to be played after the class. I mean, they, the students. Yeah. Should but then there's like a lot of activities that are off the video. Like, yeah. Like if you have one, you know, thirty minutes um, a video. No, no, most of them are like two minutes. Yeah, it's not so long. No, but I mean, like, 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 so going back to the um, to the activity that we're thinking about, we have read the text, a short text. So we have said we can we say that we can show the target language. What else can we do instead of asking the same questions? Can you give some a statement of true or false, maybe? Yeah, yeah. So this is easier. This is still pre teaching. This is, is still pre pre reading. No, we have we have only pre reading. Now we are working with the text. Okay. okay. Yeah. So we have. Introduce the topic, then we are working with the text, and then we are going to let the students practice with the vocabulary with the, uh, and speak about the topic. Yeah. So this is just to make sure that they understood the text, that they understood the vocabulary, that they have knowledge about the topic. It could be interesting if you have a text where like, it's just half the sentence and they have to kind of complete the sentence mm. themselves to see where... And then afterwards you can compare it to the real text and see if they got yeah. the... So that can be a pre-reading one as well. Yeah, or it could be the actual reading. Mm -hmm. Because they, the idea is to, you've got the target language in the first bit and they just have to wrap up what they said. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So now um, we have read the text, we have checked with the, with the questions that they have done or whatever. What to do after? Because they have learned some vocabulary, they have gained knowledge about a topic. What to do after? And that's the point where really the students need to speak, isn't it? Like you may take a step back and let them speak, but you have to monitor it as well, isn't it? So what activities? So, so you have done the test, mm -hmm. and now what to do? Yeah. Okay. Because the test is something that you do with the students, then you want them to to do something, isn't it? What do you want them to do? To keep them motivated, to keep them engaged. What do we normally do in topic activities? Discuss. Discuss. That's the most common one. Any others? Debate as well. So, but I think most of them are just gonna chat away. So if you if you do, like I would have different images of what would you do if you were this person? If you were Donald Trump? If you were the um, person at customs? If you were this family or mm -hmm. so on? So, so like a role play aspect. activity. But we give them specific tasks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. What else? Or, what do you do in your life to like? Help the environment. Like, you know, what do you do? What's your part? Maybe some questions like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so can you now, with your, well, now in your pairs, can you think of an activity that you think would be suitable for a P4, P5 level? After having read this news, what would you ask them to do? You can choose a debate or a comparison activity, maybe a research project. We have here, for example, design something. A role play, a, a debate, anything that you can think of, or anything extra that is not there. Exactly. I thought, for example, um, what if I said to you, you were the students, and I said, I gave you those words, and then said, okay, now tell me about, you are the reporter, tell me, make a news report similar to the one that I said before, or tell me a story using this, these words. When you do the follow-up activity, do you give any guidelines or do you let them speak? What do you mean? So you have read the text and then you have a debate or you have a discussion. Mm -hmm. 
but you ask a few questions and then you let them speak. Are you trying, are you prompting them to use the vocabulary? Are you prompting them to use a specific structure or are you just letting them speak? Because how do you monitor that? That's the... Let them speak. Encouraging conversation, okay? Are there any... It's not vocabulary activity, it's a mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, it's good to play, it's not a vocabulary activity. Spend time, okay, this means this. Try and use it, it's a vocabulary activity. The mm -hmm. topic is about getting them to... Yeah. Speak. There's yeah. something I would do is like if you say for the next three minutes we're gonna have a little competition, whoever uses the words most. Yeah, yeah. But it's the same thing if they don't, if they do, they do, and if they don't, then they don't. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then it doesn't affect the, yeah. the flow. Mm. So what other activities did you think then? Do you, what do you two think that you could do? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Ladies first. Ladies first. Um, well, no, yeah, we said the role play with that thing of being the opposing to your own beliefs. Okay. And then relating it to personal, personal things. And then, yeah. the second day, but. Um, well, we almost have a debate as well. But yeah, yeah, and, um, debate. Uh, trying to, oh, well, yeah, trying to link a part of the article or the activity to something. Like you pointed out, that that um, is of interest to them, that they're mm -hmm. using their mm -hmm. daily lives yeah. and that they know about. I said about the, the environment. Mm -hmm. What do you? Do? What's what your do you part? Do? Do you recycle? Yes. Yeah. How could the environment? How could the, the the council improve or make it easier for us to do our part or whatever? Mm -hmm. You know, just try and link it, link something to something that they. I don't know. To their lives. Yeah, to their yeah. lives and to keep them yeah, engaged. Mm -hmm. Because when you engage, when you do this, I think uh, they have more to say, you know. Exactly. So it, you, you, you let them speak. You that make them speak opinion, more, yeah. Yeah, more, you know, when you. Because I mean, some students. Relate to their lives. They don't read the news. So mm -hmm. like they don't know about it. So like, yeah. I don't know anything about it. So maybe they're not even interested. Not even interested. Right? Yeah. So you'll find something that. Mm -hmm. um, you and Perla, what did you think of doing? No, we yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he had not, he has the best, yeah, yes. the best activity <laughs> on BBC. Oh. No, so, um, I saw on BBC recently that so they were talking about Syrian refugees and they were just kind of like, what would you do? And the first idea was, so um, they said, okay, so you're a refugee and you choose one of, when, which one of these countries you're from. Um, I will, first of all, it was just like, are you a man or a woman? And you choose one of those and then they give you an option like, uh, which one, which nationality, and so on. And from there on, where would you go? Would you go by boat? Would you go by by train? I mean, so the idea is just a little role play that's kind of broken down, and it could be same, the same with this kind of thing, where you just have a tree of different things. Um, like, what's the... Um, it's the, the geeky board game that you... Um, so where, where people create a world, that they have to imagine what's going to happen. Oh, oh yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. right. That's a role play, isn't it? Yeah. But there's another word for it, isn't it? But anyway, so there's somebody like that's the, the storyteller. And says, okay, so you're in this situation. What do you do next? Then they choose an option. Then you say, okay, so this is going to happen. What do you do yeah. then? So you apply for the visa, but it's going to cost you this much. Or if it's going to be three months for this or six months for this. Or, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so it's a situational topic. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, what would you do in this situation? Yeah, and but the idea is that you've got a little map of things in already planned. So if they don't, if they go here, it happens yeah. this way. Yeah, and it's okay. So it's a dead end. Now you have to go back. It's like a game. Oh, oh what's it called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so so you have books, some yeah, have books, and you have to turn to the side. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. So you take yeah. things. So if you choose this, thing. this way, you're going to, to you know. Mm -hmm. um, and the last question I want to ask you. So how would you change this topic of activity, this same topic of activity, if you were teaching a P3, a P4, or a P5? Would you change it at all or not? I don't think that would be different. Yeah? And also maybe for low levels it would be more structured. But actually like the the little tree thing would mm -hmm. work better for lower levels than for higher ones because high levels maybe just don't have. Yeah. Or give them fewer options to kind of choose for themselves. So do you think that, for example, with this news, uh, 
that we have, the last news article, for example, or any other, and the different activities that we have discussed, the pre-reading, during the text, and then the after ones, we could have three different activities, a P3, a P4, and a P5, or, or two, a P3, and a P4, P5, mm -hmm. and they can be completely different. I think with the P3 it would also be interesting just to have pictures in terms of they just have to describe what they see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If it's related to Donald Trump or the visas or whatever, just have the images and like storyboard what what they see. Rather than the text. Yeah. Yeah. Because that way but actually you don't need to do the text thing for high levels either. Mm -hmm. They just have to describe the images in the same way. So anybody would be interested? I wouldn't mind. I don't know if you guys we can have, if two people are interested, we can have someone doing a P3 and someone doing a P4 or 5 with the ideas that we have discussed and doing something different. Yes? No? I'll do a P3. Okay. I'll do a P4 and P5. Okay. So you'll get it assigned and would you want, would you want to do it about this news article or would you like to find your own? Just put it in vacation. It's fine. In vacation. Because I think some of the things that we've said would be quite good. It would be also good to steer away a bit from Donald Trump for a little while. Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree with that. Yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, so if you two can do it, um, then as well, could you try and in the next session role play it with the, with the rest of us to see the, yeah, how it works? Sure. Yeah? Because from last week, have you tried to do something different, or have you... I, I'm sorry, I, I think it might be useful if we develop it and somebody else who hasn't been here presents it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I really like that idea. So that way they can, that That's way good. we don't have to do more work. No, 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 <laughs> and also, definitely, definitely. And also yeah. the other people are more clued up in terms of what we've done. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, yeah, so okay? maybe, we, yeah, yeah, definitely, we can choose someone who hasn't been here today to teach that activity. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> okay. Right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>